420 things grow in Ontario. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel and with another unboxing. So, as a Canadian, I bought this off of their website. Um, I don't know exactly their website. Um, either way, if you found this video, you're probably looking into this product. I bought it on their website. I didn't buy it on a Canadian website. It was an American website, and it came from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, all the way to Canada, with a stop off at Customs, with an extra, let's see if we can get that in there with the shadow, 6515 Canadian tacked onto it. Buyer, beware, because that is going to be added to your price. Now, that being said, I'm not really sure what it's been marked as a classification, as a articles, uh, a novelty item. Uh, um, not really sure why it's called a novelty item, but that's what it has been classified and gone through the Canadian Customs. I, I don't know why it says that. That's why it says that. Let's get into this and open it up. Okay? Let's see what comes in this package. Alright, so, well packaged, nothing wrong with that, alright, and, ta -da! pH perfect, Taurus Hydro, okay, there's a lid here, I, uh, I got, this is the 30 gallon, 35 gallon, 30, 35 gallon one okay got two of those bam bam Oop, that lids off a little bit and one liter of their recharge liquid okay nothing else in the box that's it so let's quickly let's take the one that's already open pop this thing open and see what we got inside alright so oh, first things first here there is a little pamphlet here oh, quite quite very many pages okay so compatible system first use circulation alright it's a little bit of a how to table of contents I'm gonna go through this once I uh, finish the unboxing go over any points once I read it because obviously I need to figure this out this is the first thing I've done, right? So, um, but yeah, it's got a bunch of different styles of hydroponic systems you're doing and blah, 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 all right? So, instruction book in the package. And then we have a vacuum sealed, quite vacuum sealed. It's like it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's completely bent. I wonder why it's vacuum sealed. But, that's the way it comes, sort of, like you said, over vacuum sealed, uh, this one. Don't know if that's going to cause any issues, hopefully not. Once we take it out, we'll take a peek. Let's look at the second one. I'm assuming that it comes in sort of the same stuff. Look, this one, not as vacuum sealed. Still sealed, very, you know, airtight, you can see it shrunk in. But, whoever vacuum sealed this one, went a little bit overboard compared to this one which is the actual thing I'm not going to open this yet because I don't plan on putting it in my unit quite yet um, but uh, yeah there's no sound to this there's no loose oh no there is a little bit just a little bit so it's loose now apparently this is when you recharge this, you put this thing back in here, obviously without the uh, the shrink wrap on, and you put some of this in there and it recharges. I don't know the how that is. I'm going to do some reading up on that and come back to you with the fine points. So, um, this product, I got this. Uh, there was some, I, I went to their page. I've seen it everywhere. It's being advertised everywhere, right? So when I went to their page, 
I signed up for whatever newsletter, whatever, send me all your junk mail um, kind of stuff, which I then got uh, several different um, offers um, in relation to discounts. Uh, most of them were 15%, and then one day I got um, one that was more than that, okay? So we're going to go to the shop here. I'm going to see what it is. So this one, right? Oh, look at that. Save 15% on today's order. That's where I put my email address in, and I did not buy it today. I bought it a few days later. But anyways, as you can see, the cost on this is 115 US American money. Okay? So two of those. And then I bought the recharge liquid, which was the one liter, which was 90 bucks. Okay, 89. But like I said, I got a more than 15% discount, so I jumped on it at that point. This stuff shows white, that stuff's actually blue. There's a difference there. So anyways, so 115, 115, and 89 for these three items. This is supposed to be able to go into your 35 gallon reservoir with some, obviously, setting up with the instructions, which I will get back to here shortly. But you dump this in, and this sits in, the, in your res, and this is going to regulate your pH. You never have to use pH up or pH down once you get it all set up properly the first time. Once you get it done, this will keep it within your, you know, sweet spot. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, like I'm hitting my pH up and pH down almost daily in the veg, and and you know once twice a week during uh, flower. So if I don't have to do that, and I can just pop this in, hundred bucks, or twenty bucks, more like you know with the exchange, yada yada yada, uh, and then the sixty-five extra GST that you have to pay on, a, on an import. We'll see how it works, but uh, I'm gonna put this on pause, do a little reading come up with the cliff notes and what needs to be talked about and we'll go over that in just one second all right ladies and gentlemen I'm back so I have gone through this whole Bible from start to finish okay a few things that I don't uh, don't really like about it but regardless um, general info kind of gives you and then this is what this says here right so it's important to understand that the user stops using pH uppers and downers there may have been underlying issues persistent with the hydroponic system that only become obvious once they stop using chemical buffers to control pH. Before using your pH perfect, it is advised to review the following key points for optimal results. This is on page four. And then what, what are the next key points you, you wonder? I wonder the same thing because when I get over here, it's compatible systems. So is it compatible systems? So let's go back to the table of contents and go these next key points. So is it all these things? I guess so. <laughs> Not real clear. Um, but anyways, um, so this gives you all the different types, yada yada yada. Let's, okay, so best use, set it and forget it. Many users prefer to use the PS Perfect using the set it and forget it technique. Now when I read that, I go, okay, what other techniques do you have? Uh, I'm assuming that prefer to use this. I'm assuming there's another way, but I, I, I thought this was the whole thing what this does, so maybe there's no other way. I don't know, maybe it's just me reading this, trying to understand it. Um, but regardless, this means the set desired pH in the 5.8 to 6.2 range, or as preferred. So I'm assuming that you can set it at a different range. And it would, with a small amount of pH up or pH up, depending on the initial pH of the system, right? And then let the pH per maintain the pH per within that range. Although this device can bring the pH into the other range, with, oh, far from the other range, without the use of buffers, this you would get more of the device's charge capacity. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, so, first time use. Another important. Upon the first day of use of using a new pH perfect, some users may experience temporary drop in pH. This is caused by release of acidity. Okay. So, copy this, you just add some pH up. Just to stabilize this from the other range. Okay, so it sort of makes sense, right? Right off the hop. Um, 
so you know it really says it works really well with circulation so okay tells you some stuff about source water while well, I run reverse osmosis for sure so that's a good thing um, not a whole lot in here um, but it does tell you stuff you know make sure you have established roots it wants you to know more roots the better this thing works um, and, and I'm just paraphrasing here I just know what this says you know in some medias uh, you're gonna see it fluctuate so uh, you know it tells you all the medias that are good um, semi-compatible and you know in, in information of what to do with it um, and then also it's uh, you know how do you treat your media and it says you know do this stuff and uh, you should be better so um, yeah none of my media sits in the water so um, and, and I haven't really seen this uh, swing so we'll see how it goes but nutrients additives Bell's results when I'm changing the pH proving the system with nutrients. Sweet, I'm going to be using nutrients in my system. Um, temperature. Yeah. I mean, this is a no-brainer for hydroponics, right? I'm well within that range anyway. So, um, yeah, this is uh, perfect. And then it goes into maintenance and storage, right? So, uh, I'm going to go check out their website, see if there's any more information. But it seems pretty straightforward. I'm, I'm thinking about cutting this one open that is... Um, you know, a little bit over compressed. Hopefully, it's just, I'm not going to use both of them right away. I'm going to use this one first. I'm going to use one of them first. So, I'm assuming I'm going to do this. So, um, I'm going to get it in and get in the res. And my res right now is in the ideal range, right? I've got it in about just under six. Um, and then I will monitor it for the first couple of days, like it says. So, I mean, it's really straightforward. Didn't really bounce back there. Didn't say anything about handling. It didn't say anything about nothing. Didn't really say much about anything. Okay, so it's definitely deformed. But, it is what it is. So here's the product. Right on. So, uh, since my res is already in that range, let's, uh, let's go drop this in. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, what we have now is... Where did I put my... Torch hydro unit. Okay, I'm not going to put that in quite yet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the um, getting ready to look at the reservoir. I want to see what my pH is, so let's get that tested. We're sitting at 6.2. Six point two. So we go back to the uh, range. That's uh, decently level. So what we're going to do is, and, and, and even the Taurus Hydro should be able to bring it outside of that range. So we're at six point two. So I'm going to drop this in. First time use uh, in the reservoir. I'm going to put it away. My suction here is at this end here. I'm definitely going to throw it in over on that side. It is stand, standing up on its end. Yeah, you see it there? There we go. So yeah, got it right by the bubbler. The suction is over here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. And we're gonna see how that works. So I'm gonna finish this video and then listen, that's pretty straightforward, guys. So uh, my, my reservoir was already in the, the ideal range. I had added some um, pH down earlier because it always seems to creep up in veg and that's where I'm at with my plant cycle right here so um, normally it creeps up so I put it in earlier got it down you know in that 6.2 range and uh, yeah we're gonna see what, how this does so um, yeah bye for now oh look it fell down so uh, bye for now check out uh, the other videos on the channel you can see any of the other grows that I have going on and uh, this is my 2x4 tent setup. I will be putting one of these in a different setup, so I'm underneath the 35 gallon size, so we should uh, be good, but I'm going to do a, uh, a journaling kind of thing with this unit, so be on the lookout for that video. Uh, this was just really the unboxing and initial setup and going over the stuff, so that's, that's it. So, more to come with this product. Glad to uh, try some new stuff on the channel. Like, subscribe, do all that jazz. Guys and girls, later.